Oh, this is uh, Jeff here, and I'm with Patrick, and we're going to be casting the first game out of our little tournament here between Stefan and Nick, and they're going to start it off. We have Stefan Leg spawning as the blue Protoss in the bottom right, and we've got Nick Beckstein as the red Protoss in the top left. Now, I think they're both going to start off with a very standard uh, make probe opening. Well, you'd think that, but Stefan's got something else in store, apparently. <laughs> Considering he's already two food behind, and he's gone for that early pylon, probably to do some harass... No, not harassment. No, definitely not harassment. De no, prob okay. probably a blockade of some sort. Yeah, well, now typically Nick goes for those early type of pressure builds, right? It wouldn't be uncommon for us to see Nick here go ahead and throw out a couple of gateways and just rally zealots to the front. So I definitely think this, that Stefan's doing the right thing here, building a pylon at the front. It's, small, it's a small ramp. Uh, if he gets a gateway in there and a zealot maybe, he can block that off just perfectly. Well, this is a good uh, spawning position for Stefan then if he's looking to avoid that early pressure. He's completely across the map. Yeah, interesting fact about Shakura's Plateau, you cannot spawn in close positions. That is, you cannot spawn here. You can only spawn across or... You know, the other one. You know, I, I didn't know that fact, but um, especially in such well <laughs> verbose uh, language there. Yeah, thank you. But I, I guess I, I definitely have never done that before. Actually, this is, this is very funny. We've got uh, pretty much mirror um, gateway timings, and it's really odd considering Stefan is still a full three food behind, four food behind his opponent. Uh, a little bit unexpected. And there goes the wall off, just like we kind of expected. So here. Uh, does it just require a two pylon? Gateway wall off there? Is Apparently, that yeah, but that that blocks him in as well. Absolutely nothing can get through oh, there without breaking the wall. Oh, and that probe down. is denied the scout. Uh, I guess he will not be knowing what's going on. Not that Nick would change his build order whatsoever. That would uh, be a little bit too um. <laughs> no, Stefan definitely predictable. needs three probes to build that single gateway. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's it's um an interesting way of building stuff. You know, you want to make sure that you don't get harassed. And well, nothing gets in the way. If you think about it like city workers, one probe's doing the work and two of them are just watching. That's you know? true, that's true. The, uh, the Protoss unionized quite a while ago. Yeah. And this is, I mean, this is what happens when you go to a union. And there we have the first zealot out and the second one getting chrono boosted by Nick. He is uh, currently at, uh, what is that, four plus three, oftentimes seven. Uh, seven food ahead of his opponent. He's got two gateways, both of which rallying zealots. I think uh, we are going to see that very heavy zealot play by Nick here. Going back to Stefan's base, we see pretty much the same same stuff. He's starting to mine gas now. Um, I guess he's wanting to tech or... Hmm. His, his building placement is what's really interesting to me. It's just like he's really trying to maximize those pylon distances. No, absolutely. Uh, trying to get as much coverage there as possible. The it's it's more or less like a Venn diagram of successful StarCraft is what I see here. Oh yeah, I can I can definitely picture that right there. Now he's got the one zealot guarding his uh, three buildings. Bit of a mistake, I'd say. I, absolutely, Nick is gonna come in here with I think a it looks like five zealots. You got the last two coming out. They're rallied to these zealots. In my opinion, if you're gonna do the wall off. You you gotta go stalkers behind. Absolutely, he's got the money. F oh, there it goes. Oh, there goes the first stalker. Uh, Alrighty. Maybe a too little, too late though at this point. Yeah, I'm not sure how much one stalker can do to hold off five zealots. He does now have two zealots at the front though. This might be enough. I'm not I'm sure. He's gonna have to micro him uh, fairly well. Uh, well, <clears throat> he'll have to do something. All right. <laughs> uh, we see Nick here, Chrono boosting the gateways, and rallying right to the front. This is definitely gonna be a very strong early pressure build by Nick. Not even going to get warp gates or build a pylon forward. As you can see here, Stefan opting not to spend his chrono boost at all. Uh, he's, he's saving that for the later game. Yeah, right? absolutely. He, knows he, he needs it. Right now, it's yeah. not that he's walled himself in. He's, he's completely yeah, he, secure. He, he thinks he's safe, all right. But what the fuck, Zealots? <laughs> Oh, oh, terrible, terrible positioning oh, no. here. He needs bring, to pull those it, up to it, the top of the ramp. Bring oh. it to the stalker. All right, well, now the stalker's working. Here targeting the healthiest of the zealots. Mm -mm. Probably not the best move when you have one zealot. Bit of a miss micro orange. here. Orange. All right, definitely building those buildings as far apart as possible still. Meanwhile, we see no other response come out. The bear's on the forge hoping to get out a cannon. Below, still subtle probes just staying there. Yeah, I... Is that a cannon? Is that what he's building? It's a, it's a forge, it's so he can get out the cannons, uh, but it's a bit too late for that. The, uh, you know, he... he oh, read the stalker his does come out. 
he is choosing to not micro it and just simply let it die. That's ah. it's an interesting gameplay. I didn't this is see that this is a very interesting build by Stefan here. Um, choosing just not, not not to pull the probes or anything, just to slowly. Oh, oh. there's the mat. There's, there's the, the mat. There's the mat. We don't All see right. a lot of mat mats. No, nah, definitely not. And uh, Nick opting to attack the unpowered buildings and not go for the probes. Oh, oh. Um, a little bit unorthodox by him, but there he goes. He's sending him right to the probe line, and that's just that's gonna. I would not be surprised to see a GG here now. This is gonna I mean, at this point, end any minute. At this point, definitely uh, probably should just GG out of this. You know, Stefan may Stephen. very well be just not GGing I mean, in order to draw out the game and try to tire out his opponent, Nick. Ah, yes, for the that's next game. taking so many punches, your opponent. Passes out. Yes. Technique. Yeah, yeah. Um, does, not too effective. Uh, no, not, not generally, no. Especially um, not when you lost so convincingly. Um, oh, oh, and he's bringing Nick the probes. Is, is oh, the probes. that is just, uh, uh, that, wow, that is that's, really the slap in the face right there. Uh, that's adding insult to injury. All right. right there. And, yep. and of course, Nick telling him to pick the met next map. And we're about to end this right here. All right, GG. Good game. Now it goes to. Stefan to pick the next map. I'm going to go right into that next game immediately.